When, oh when, oh when, oh when will Fox News get rid of Tucker Carlson? It's bad enough that this guy is a racist scumbag and he shows it every time he speaks. It's bad enough that he's the de facto man for Donald Trump and he shows it every time he speaks. But now he's really beginning to cross a very dangerous line in my view. Now, the first thing is, a couple of nights ago, he goes off against vaccination. And he tries to compare being vaccinated against the coronavirus to segregation. You heard me right. The coronavirus vaccination to segregation. More on that in a few moments. But I want to play just a small clip, just one small clip out of that little tirade of his. And tell me, you need to tell me if this guy, <laughs> if this guy doesn't want the old good old days back. Pretty much everybody agreed that segregation was the worst thing this country ever did. Did you see that? He was trying, he came very close to saying that segregation was the best thing. But then he did that, that segregation was the worst thing ever happened he was trying to mount he nearly said best thing if you didn't catch it watch it again pretty much everybody agreed that segregation was the worst thing this country ever did now you know this guy wants the old the good old days back just looking at his hairstyle looking at his face hearing his voice makes you feel like he wants to be a member of the clan Oh, God. Anyway, let's get on with what else he said, actually, in this particular tirade, where he tries to compare segregation to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. Against the coronavirus. Take a listen. Pretty much everybody agreed that segregation was the worst thing this country ever did. Forcing certain categories of citizens into separate lesser accommodations, barring them from public places, treating them like lepers or untouchables, that was completely immoral and wrong. We were told that a lot, and most of us strongly agreed. It was wrong. So imagine our confusion today looking out across the country. The very same people, literally the very same, who just the other day told us that segregation was immoral, are now enforcing segregation. Should we be surprised? Probably not, but we still are. Just this morning, the New York Times informed us that unless you can prove you have taken the injection that the Democratic Party demands you take, you are no longer permitted in bars, comedy clubs, even some dance competitions in the state of New York. You're too dirty to appear in public. You're not welcome near normal people. Want to watch the NBA playoffs in person? You had better be vaccinated to do that. Otherwise, the New York Knicks will bar you from Madison Square Garden. You can still go see a baseball game if you want to, but be warned, you will be sitting in your own roped off section, marinating in your shame with the other disobedient bad people. Medical Jim Crow has come to America. If we still had water fountains, the unvaccinated would have separate ones. Medical Jim Crow. You're lucky that I'm not face to face with you, Carson, because you would get this fist in your mouth. How dare you? You, you call this Jim, medical Jim Crow. Do you even know your history? Jim Crow is responsible. The Jim Crow laws were about, were about segregation and cost the lives of thousands, if not millions, of African Americans in this country for decades. And you trying to compare getting vaccinated, protecting yourself from the, from the coronavirus to Jim Crow because as businesses want people to get vaccinated so we can return to our normal lives? I'm going to tell you this right now. I got vaccinated so I can protect myself and protect my family from the coronavirus. And not to mention the fact, protect the people I work with, the people I'm around from the virus. And you calling it medical Jim Crow. Because, because one, because, let me ask you this. I keep asking this of every right wing nut job out there. Donald Trump got vaccinated before he left office. Where's your outrage against him? 
You keep demanding that we give him credit for, for the vaccine, vaccine being rolled out. But you don't want anyone to take the vaccine because it's a, a symbol of democratic control. What is wrong with you? This has got to stop. Fox News needs to get this guy off the air because he is making things 10 times worse. Medical Jim Crow. See, businesses have the right to ban people if they want. Now, I've never heard of businesses throwing people out just because they didn't wear a mask or because they, they weren't vaccined. They didn't, um, vac- they didn't get vaccinated. I never heard of that. So you're overacting, reacting this thing just to score political points with your bosses at Fox News, at Fox News, um, Tucker. And frankly, I think it's damn pathetic. It is pathetic. You have this shameful need to hurt President Biden and the Democrats that you won't tell the truth about what happened. You, like I said earlier, Donald Trump got vaccinated. Where's your outrage against him? But he's one of us. He's one of the good, the good ones, the good white folk that actually he believes what we believe in. Because you're not going to go against him. It's got to stop. I'm encouraging people to get vaccinated so we can return to normal before this virus ever hit us. And it might not be able to get back to normal because people like Tucker Carlson, people like Donald Trump, people like their supporters are continually every single day throwing out lies without giving the entire truth about what's going on. It's got to stop. I'm urging all of you get vaccinated. Now, some businesses have said if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask inside. I still ask people, how are they going to know that you're not va- that you're vaccinated? I can simply lie and say I wasn't vaccinated and I can walk into a Kroger. So what exactly is it that you think you're losing by getting vaccinated? I'm asking you. I'm asking everyone out there who's watching this video. If you haven't been vaccinated, why? And if you haven't... Why haven't you? And what? And if you aren't, give me a reason why you're not doing, not going, going to get vaccinated. Give me a logical reason as to why. And yeah, this is directed at the t- Donald Trump supporters. If Donald Trump got vaccinated without even telling us, after, until as long after he left the White House, what's stopping you from being vaccinated? And as for you, Tucker Carlson. You're an asshole. We know this. You need to get pulled off the air. We know this. You're a racist. We know that. And that little... <laughs> Spit it out! You know damn well that you support segregation, you bastard. You really think you're going to try to trick people into that? We see you, Tucker Carson. The world is seeing you for the racist that you are. Take heed. We got you. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.